OMG you guys, did BTS just did a full cover of Jan's hit song Super Tuna and what was his reaction? And did BTS's official merch just got leaked and why are people boycotting BTS's new webtoons 7 Fates Chaco and why are armies requesting for Jungkook's privacy? We will find it out in this video, but guys I wanna request you to please subscribe to our channel, because only 2% of you watching our videos are subscribed to our channel. So I am begging you. Please hit that subscribe button because it will really help and support us. I am giving you 5 seconds to subscribe, 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. Thank you so much for subscribing. OMG you guys, I am so shocked and so happy right now. BTS just reunited as a group after their PTD on stage LA concert at the Hybe building where they just posted some Instagram stories while they were eating fish cakes that Jin brought over from his trip to his uncle's strawberry farm and brought strawberries and food for his family and BTS members. Jungkook, Namjoon, Jin and J-Hope just sang Super Tuna on their Instagram stories and the world went into a glitch. Jungkook was the first one to post on his Instagram excitedly while filming the fish cakes which represented the fish for the song. <laughs> and then Jin posted a short story in which Jungkook was singing the beat of Super Tuna and posted a picture of fish cakes on his Instagram. Then Namjoon posted a story of singing fire and super tuna with adding fire effect to the fish cakes and also sang baby shark and J-Hope also posted a story of the fish cakes. FIRE! <laughs> they all seemed excited and it looks like their break has been ended and they might be working on a new album. I also want to mention that this video is sponsored by the K-Pop Store, the number one fan made K-Pop merch and accessories store in the world. So click on the link in description to check it out. Jimin's official merch photos just dropped yesterday but the 3J's merch actually got leaked way before the launch. Few days ago Weverse app had a glitch and armies found out the prices and merch of rest of the remaining members of BTS Jimin, Jungkook and J-Hope. Jimin merch got leaked which was the red carving earrings and with you hoodie. Which was supposed to be made public on 15th January. J-Hope's merch got leaked too which is side by side mini bag and hope pot set and which was supposed to be released on 17th January. Jungkook merch also got leaked which is Micro Cosmos mood lamp and a white zip up hoodie, which was supposed to be released on 21st January. Hybe later apologized for the leak and said that they would not change the price of the merch as they had the previous controversy of keeping high prices with Jin's merch. Recently BTS's new webtoon and story 7 Fates Chaco got released, while some had fun reading it but some did not and people start boycotting the webtoon and started to request for Jungkook to be free. What happened was that Jungkook's character Zia did not have the tattoos and while Namjoon's character Dojin did. And it was portrayed as that having tattoos seems scary and seems like the person who have tattoos has lived a shady life. And it seemed to some people that Jungkook's character had feelings for Namjoon character and was queer in the webtoon and story. Armies then started to demand for the webtoon to be taken down as it directly linked to Jungkook who has tattoos in real life. Hashtag free Jungkook started to trend worldwide. A fan tweeted, why the hell is the Hybe respect Jungkook and hashtag free Jungkook thing? You all for real mad cause his character might be gay? Chaco was approved by BTS and Jungkook even showed support towards the story multiple times. If he thought something was wrong with it, he would have said so. Grow TF up. Another fan said, Okay some of you under this hashtag are jumping to conclusions. While I am not a fan of the storyline, where has Hybe or the members said that this webtoon was a portrayal of the members lives? You think the members don't know about the storyline? Chill out hashtag free Jungkook.